The National Medical Commission allows foreign graduates to intern in non-teaching for this year. CBSE Board Results 2023 Fake Notice Goes Viral Smriti Irani launches early childhood education models for Angan Lady Freedom College asks students to vacate hostels for repair works. Students' residents worried. Delhi University's Hindu College suspended over 25 students for protest, 15 for financial fraud during fest. UGC NEET June 2023 registration begins. Exams from June 13th. Good afternoon and warm welcome. You're watching Education News Network where you get to watch the latest development in education at the top of this app. This is Balaji reporting from ENN and the daily stories app. A large number of students are waiting for the Central Board of Secondary Education to declare the much-awaited Class 10 and 12 board examination results. This year, CBC conducted Class 10 board exams from February 15 to March 21st and Class 12 board exams from February 15 to April 5th. And now students are eagerly waiting for the CBC to declare the results. A notice has been circulating on the social media stating that the CBC will declare the Class 10th and 12th board examination results on May 11th. However, it is fake. As for the CBSE official, the official notice for the results will be issued soon. CBSE examination controller Sayyam Bharatwaj has also confirmed that the notice is fake. Results for the class 10 and 12 examination 2022-2023 conducted by CBSE will be declared on May 11th, which was said to be as a fake news. The models called Pushinbi Paraivi have been launched in line with the National Education Policy 2020 that emphasizes on early childhood care and foundational learning while highlighting that over 85% of child's cumulative brain development occurs prior to the age of 6 years. Addressing the media during the launch, Irani said that the WCD ministry constituted an ECCE task force and it has already submitted its report and recommended training Anganwadi workers in the module. Its recommendation included capacity building through a three-day in-person training, follow-up refresh training, fresh teaching learning material including activity books and toys, and a workshop on usage and creation of the toys, he said. The WCD ministry said that the idea is to make Anganwadi centers education imparting centers and not just limit them as centers for nutrition. There are around 14 lakh Anganwadi centers in the country catering to 10 crore beneficiaries. Irani said that 600 crores are being proposed to be allocated for the training process under the Pushanbi Padaibi. The Austin residents of the Lady Sri Ram College are worried a lot for these days as the college asked them to vacate the 260 room facility by end of this month for repair works without making any alternative arrangements for them. Where will we go in the mid-semester asked students complaining that they are unable to find a available accommodation for themselves. The hostel notification has come as a shock to the students as they go house hunting after classes but they don't get a flat and a high rental for the PG accommodations. The authorities decided to get the hostel vacated and repaired after an inmate recently suffered injuries after a bathroom cubal roof collapsed. Lady Sriram College has a small 260 room hostel that is allocated for the first year students based on the merit across categories. The hostel authorities have informed the students that the security deposit will be refunded along with the fees for the remaining term. 
However, the hostel residents are not happy. They said they want alternative accommodations. Delhi University's Hindu College has suspended 25 students for staging protest at last month over a cultural fest and 15 more for alleged for fraud during the Mecca 23 students alleged on Wednesday. At least two more students were served notices for both their alleged involvement in the protest as well as the financial fraud multiple students have confirmed. Arjun Srivatsava, the college principal, did not respond to the calls from the PTI seeking a response. We are told by the college officials that 42 students have been served notice. But we are in contact with at least 30 students. The notice for both kinds of offences mentioned suspension, fine, and the students will be barred from taking any post, said a student who has been served notice for holding a protest. The college hosted its annual fest named Mecca on April 27th and 28th. Around 25 students have been given notice for gross misconduct and extremely inappropriate behaviour during the protest. In addition to that, 15 students have been served notice regarding financial fraud or cheating during the two-day event. Sanjay, who is a second-year student, claimed that he has been served both notices. I was not a part of the organization committee. I was only protesting against the administration over the Mecca 23. I have no idea about the notice. I have been served both the notices, he said. The National Testing Agency has started the online application process for the University Grants Commission National Eligibility Test. June session 2023 from May 10. Candidates can apply for the UGC NEET 2023 exams by visiting the official websites at ugcnet.nta.nic.in and nta.ac.in. The information regarding the submission of online application forms was shared by the UGC Chief M. Jagdish Kumar on a Twitter. To apply for the UGC NEET June 2023 exams, candidate will have time till May 31st up to 5 pm. According to the official announcement made by the UGC Chief, the National Eligibility Test 2023 will be conducted from June 13 to June 22. The exam conducting body will hold the UGC NEET June session 2023 for the Junior Research Fellowship and Eligibility Test for Assessment Professor in a total of 83 subjects in computer based mode. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, log on to my website, theenn.com, and do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.